Hello everyone, I'm Hedge, and thank you so, so much for 1,000 subscribers. I am very grateful that all of you are here. You're all so lovely, and I appreciate that you, you all are interested in seeing content like this that I make for Barney, and I love making it. Barney has always been a big part of my life and is my heart and soul, really, and uh, being able to make this kind of content uh, for the character even in 2022 is absolutely amazing and i again i can't thank you all uh enough for sharing this channel around and and just uh getting it to people's attention and and just being here in general again i thank you so so much for being here now a little bit back i made community posts saying that i was doing a q a video for when we hit 1000 subscribers and this is that video right now now let me preface this by saying there were a lot of comments there were a lot of questions. It was something around like a hundred questions because a lot of people would ask multiple questions in one comment. And I started thinking that like if I gave every question at least like a minute, then that would mean that the video would be around an hour and a half long. And I wasn't trying to do that. So because of that, if this video uh, ends up going around 30 minutes, I'm just going to cut it and there's going to be two videos. There's going to be a part one, part two. This will of course be part one. So if your question isn't gone over in this video or if you don't see it at all, don't worry it'll be answered in part two i made sure to compile all the questions together so i guarantee you your, your question from those posts will show up in either this part or part two now i'm only going over questions that are in those community posts so if you post a comment down below on this video it won't be gone over in either part because i'm recording these both these parts in the same night so i wouldn't be able to know that you posted a question but uh yeah so we're gonna go ahead and do that. I got Barney here. I got Barney back there. I got Barney and Baby Bob and a rainbow back there. I got Baby Bob recently, so maybe I'll do another merch thing because I do have some stuff in my collection that I didn't show in the merch collection video. But um, yeah, you like my hat? I don't have any ears. <laughs> Why don't we go ahead and get into the questions? Also, if I pronounce your name wrong, I deeply apologize. Our friend Barney, my dude. Are there any classic Barney videos you haven't seen? If so, what ones are you most intrigued by? What's your favorite and least favorite backyard gang video? Barney videos that I haven't seen. Mm, well, there's a lot. I mean, I I haven't really seen all that much of like Barney and Friends season seven through 14. So I'm sure there's something in there that I haven't seen. I, I want to see what a world we share. I don't have that VHS tape. And I've always been intrigued by that one. I, I've always wanted to check that one out. Because that one seems like a lot of fun. A lot of the Barney Home videos from like the season four through six era are, they look like a lot of fun. I think definitely What a World We Share would have to be part of that. Favorite and least favorite backyard gangs. I feel like Three Wishes might actually be my favorite. And that's probably just because of nostalgia. But also it's just, it's just a really well written story. Least favorite? Mm, it might actually be something from the latter half either maybe rock with barney or the backyard show i have a video planned when it comes to like ranking stuff for barney so i'm just gonna leave it at that darlin what are your top five favorite songs from the series any era counts Ooh, that's a very interesting one hold up friends are forever just imagine everyone is special my family's just right for me. What makes a flower so pretty? I've been looking I've been listening to that one a lot recently and I don't exactly know why. But what makes a flower so pretty is such a pretty song and again I've been listening to that one a lot recently and I don't entirely know why. <laughs> Much love. L N E R liner L liner liner if more of the original if more of the original 1992 through 1995 cast had appeared in the 10th anniversary reunion in 1998 who would you pick and then favorite barney bj and baby bop costumes so he's talking so they're talking about uh sing and dance with barney i remember seeing that sean the actor that paid, played sean was originally supposed to be there but he got busy or something like that uh sean for sure uh tasha was in it right tasha was in it. no i actually i feel tina would would have been a great pick to be in sing and dance with barney i mean she was like the main she was like the main focus uh for like the latter half of the backyard gang and she's just a very integral character to the the franchise in general i feel like tina definitely uh tina lucy and uh sean i feel like would have been uh really nice to see in that special uh in terms of favorite barney costume uh season three of barney and friends bj tall bj season two and then baby bob season three of barney and friends i feel like those were the 
definitive uh, looks for the characters, in my opinion. Uh, thank you, much love. Aaron says, how would you describe the hit era of Barney? Hit entertainment. Well, you know, growing up, technically I should have grown up with the hit entertainment era of Barney, considering I'm 22 now at the time of this video. So that should have been my era, I guess. But I, I grew up on VHS tapes, so it, it was mainly like lions and lyrics. So uh, I actually, I haven't seen all of that. I've seen a lot. Don't get me wrong. I've seen a lot of hit entertainment era of Barney, but I haven't like sat down and watched through them all as an adult. I, I know that there were a lot of changes that were made in terms of uh, like restructuring Barney and Friends and, and changing it up a lot. And there's a lot of things that I didn't like, like the, the, the final version of the theme song that you hear, where it's like a rap. I hate that with like everything in my being. Uh, and like voice changes. Like there's a lot that changed when it comes to hit, to hit era that can be seen as both it can be seen as both that like they tried and then they didn't at the same time. I don't really know. I don't have like the best opinion on it. So uh, I do have something planned in terms of going over the entire era. So that'll be coming out at some point this year. But it, it, it was very different. Let's just say that. Marissa says, if there was a new Barney series, which dinosaur would you want as a new character? And what do you think the gender, color, and name should be for it? I feel like we don't really need a new dinosaur, and I feel like people probably thought that when Riff came into the, the scene. But if Barney were to come back, they were going to do that. They're going to do that. Absolutely. There's no way around it. Companies will always do that when it comes to bringing a show back or trying to revive it. They're going to add a new character just to, to boost up ratings, even though, or even if, like, people don't really receive it all that well. But if they had to do it, I... Mmm... Blue? I, yeah, blue. I feel like a blue dinosaur would look kind of generic, though. Like, in a, in a weird sort of way. But maybe blue. Or white. Ooh, I feel like a white dinosaur. I feel like Barney is overdue for, uh, like, trans representation. I feel like that would be really cool. If, even if they had, like, a, like a non-binary, like, dinosaur, and they could, like, go over it, I feel like that could tie really well into, like, the whole everyone is special sort of thing. And, again, like, it's a, it's a new age, it's a new world, and... Me being non-binary, I, I feel like that would be really cool if there was a dinosaur that represented that uh, in Barney and Friends. And again, like it, it could be a really cool, like everyone is special type theming of an episode. And uh, I feel like a lot of kids would be able to, to understand that and, and go along with it um, if Barney were there to help them and hold their hand through it. That's a really good question. Thank you. Much love. Cartoonist, what are your favorite Barney, BJ, and Baby Bob costumes? What are your least favorite ones? Uh, I answered the first part of that question. My least favorite ones, I feel like they all come from that birthday bash thing that Barney did. I I don't even really need to explain what those were. I will at some point, but that probably, I don't understand how costumes like that even go through and get approved by any sort of team. In terms of work that was done on those costumes, I'm sure it was a lot of work to make those costumes, but you have to understand the like the principle of design and that you're you're advertising to kids. Like and you these are presentable characters that people recognize and that kids recognize. So when you do that, you have no reason to be shocked that kids are gonna be scared. Like I hate that. I hate those designs a lot. I really do. And it's a good thing they don't exist anymore. <laughs> Thank you for your question. Much love. Extreme, Extremeville, Extremeville. Did you like, <laughs> did you like the fact that Barney was a secret in the backyard game? Do you think they should have kept it going? I think Barney being a secret in the backyard gang was something that added a, a bit more depth to the character and a bit more depth to the, the series in general. I don't think it's something that they could have kept going unless they added more human characters because if you have barney and friends uh you have to have a reason for barney to be a secret and if the whole thing is barney's a secret and then there's no human characters to protect that secret from then it doesn't mean anything you know then there's no point of even bringing it up so i feel like it would have been cool if they kept it going but i don't think they would have been able to do that with the nature of it being a pbs show and and, and that uh so, well they could have sesame street they could have gotten extra like human characters and stuff i don't know i think it would have been cool the legally blind critic which kid from the backyard gang is your favorite uh also as a more of a crisp could you do a spotlight on come on over to barney's house uh oh thank you by the way <laughs> favorite kid from the backyard gang tina absolutely tina um i mean she didn't 
she didn't really have any sort of development. None of those kids really had like development of any kind. It was a, it was a, a Texas made uh, home video series. They didn't have all that much money, but Tina was great. I, I liked her dynamic with Barney a lot, and I, I liked what they were trying to do with that. And the fact that she stayed as long as she did through like season two of Barney and Friends and making a last cameo in uh, season three, like I, I liked that a lot. Um, again, like a lot of those characters didn't really have all that much in terms of like fleshing their characters out, but I feel like Tina had just enough to to maintain and be like a, an integral character within the franchise. So uh, I think in terms of the backyard gang, Tina, absolutely. Uh, coming over to Barney's house, we'll get a spotlight at some point. Uh, it'll happen sooner or not. Much love. <laughs> Barney, BYG Friends, what is your ranking on the Backyard Gang series, and what is your ranking for the first three seasons of Barney and Friends? Keep it the great part. Uh, again, like I said earlier, I, have, I do have a uh, have something planned for that, so I would keep your eyes out for that. I think that's going to be pretty interesting, and I'm actually looking forward to doing that. It's going to be a very big ordeal, but I think that people are, will be excited for what I have in store for that, so keep your eyes out. Thank you. Much love. Cartoon Guy. Who's your favorite kid of the classic seasons? Min. 100% Min. Min has always been my favorite character. And I think part of that has to do with, like, when I was a kid, I had a crush on Min. <laughs> but, like, growing up, like, she, she's a very important part of the series. She was in a lot of the big, like, productions. She was in almost all of the home videos throughout seasons one through three. Uh, she was in Imagination Island, Barney Live in New York City, the Radio City Music Hall shows, so, like, Min, I, I love Min a lot. Min's really cool. I feel like Tasha's probably a second, though. I had the On The Move VHS tape uh, at the daycare that I used to go to, and I used to watch that all the time. Uh, and th th that tape starts off with uh, Tasha and Min. Uh, oh, no, it starts off with Kathy and Tasha, and then Min comes in. So I just remember seeing those three characters a lot uh, because we used to play the tape a lot. But, uh, yeah, I think Min would be my favorite character. Much love. Joey Tastic, what is your favorite Barney song besides Just Imagine? And what is your favorite Lyric Studios video? My favorite Barney song. Shouldn't feel sad that he's going away. Friends are forever, whenever they may believe. That one. <laughs> Fair, favorite, blah, blah, let me try that again. Favorite Lyric Studios video. That would probably be either come on over to Barney's house or Barney goes to the zoo. Let's go to the zoo. Barney, let's go to the zoo. What was it called again? I remember those two I would watch all the time uh, when I was younger. So I actually, I feel like it would actually just be come on over to Barney's house. Um, that one was a lot of fun. So I definitely, I, I, I would say that one is my favorite Lyric Studios video. Much love. Jordan, what do you think about the Barney bloopers posted on YouTube by Aviators99? I have no idea who that is. Who is Aviator? Oh, no, I, I do know who that is. Um, the bloopers. I think they're very funny. Those are the bloopers from... Uh, I think that person, I think what they're talking about is that person posts bloopers uh, that were from like the season four through six uh, era of Barney, where uh, the bloopers were like released by somebody. I guess they were on the team or whatever, but they're, they're very funny. I, I like seeing those. We don't really have too many of those from Barney. Um, sorry, I didn't, I, I don't follow any like Barney related channels on YouTube. I don't really, the only time I really look at Barney videos on YouTube is when I'm trying to like either do like a video myself or I'm just looking at like a song or, or looking back at a clip or something. Uh, there's maybe like five people from the Barney sphere that I, I actively follow on YouTube, but uh, I will definitely subscribe to Aviators 99 now that I know, uh, now, that I, now that I remember that they do like the bloopers and stuff like that, so. Yeah, much love. That's Sonic Feek. I, or maybe that's Freak. What is your favorite era of Barney? Lions. 100% Lions. I grew up on Lions. And uh, that's that's it. I grew up on Lions. <laughs> lions, Lyric, and then Hit Entertainment for me. So definitely Lions. Much love. Rebecca, what do you feel about Riff, BJ and Baby Bob's cousin? Also, did you know BJ stands for Barney Jr.? No, it does not. BJ uh, was named after um, the son or the father of a production member. It's something like that. It's it's named after somebody. It's not Barney Jr., although it could stand for that. Riff, I, 
uh, it's another thing to where I said earlier, I haven't really seen all that much from like the Hit Entertainment, uh, Barney and Friends seasons. Uh, but when I was growing up, I saw like a good amount of Riff and I didn't mind him at all. Then again, I was a kid, so I, I didn't really, I didn't really care. I was just sort of like, who, who is this? Why is he here? Um, he doesn't really add much of anything, but I mean, it was going to happen either way. Um, I feel like even if Lions or Lyric, whatever, sorry, if Lyric still had Barney, they would have added a dinosaur to, regardless, just to boost ratings and to introduce just a new character in general. So Riff, I know a lot of people hate Riff. <laughs> I think he's fine. I'm sure when I go back and watch these seasons, my opinion might change, maybe. But as it stands, I don't really, um, he's all right, I guess. I like his voice. <laughs> Much love cartoonist again hey buddy how do you feel or what is your opinion on both the barney bash and the barney hate kind of curious on how most people who either like or love barney feel about it let me okay let me say something barney you can stay up here the whole barney bashing situation that was happening in the 90s is so funny to me it's so funny to me because i don't understand it it's it's only funny because of how absurd it was you literally had these grown adults going out and buying Barney merchandise, actively giving money to these toy companies that are making Barney merchandise just to go into a school auditorium and tear it apart. I feel like you have to have something just mentally. Why are you doing that? Like, <laughs> what, like, like what is the point? It's a children's show. Why are you so upset at a children's show to where you're going to actively give the companies that you hate, you're going to give them money so that you can take their products and destroy it? Like, who's that going to hurt? Who does that hurt? It's it's so weird to me because I almost think it was a joke, but it's not a joke. It was a real thing that was happening. But it's so absurd that it just it's funny. I don't know. It's a real thing that happened at some point in America. And it, it's it's like one of the dumbest things I've ever seen. But again, like it's really funny. And and just the Barney hate in general, I think that's gonna that was that was just gonna happen for anything that's like what Barney was, spreading love. If you're spreading love as strongly as you are, you're going to receive hate to, to the exact same degree. It's just how you combat that that matters. And I feel like Barney's creators and, and the team behind Barney have done like a really good job of just pushing that back and, and even just ignoring it. And Barney's here to do a great thing, and he has done a great thing, and people are just going to hate it. So it is what it is. You just got to keep moving, you know what I mean? Much love. Peter, what's your favorite rendition of I Love You in any home video? I liked the one, uh, there was one throughout season two. It might have showed up in season three as well, where it started off slow. I love you. Like, it, it was slow. And then uh, the instrumental would go like, do, 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 do. I like that one a lot. That one um, is one that I, I really enjoy. Uh, I don't really like when it's like slow the entire time. Uh, they would do that a lot where it would start off slow and then the second chorus comes and it's still slow. Like I don't really like that all that much. Um, I like when it picks itself back up. Uh, so definitely that one. I don't know. They don't really have names or anything so it's hard to describe but uh, definitely that one. That was used uh, season two and three of Barney and Friend. Maybe even season one. I don't remember. Uh, but yeah. Much love. Lost Media. Since Hit Entertainment merged with Mattel Wildbrain, do you think they would have changed the format of the show? like the main setting of the hit era characters and whatnot by now and if it was oh if it was still going it would change it would you have liked or would have made um again like i haven't really seen uh, as much of hit entertainment as uh i would want to but in terms of what i do know about those seasons and have seen i would rather they would just go back to what it was in terms of because they changed the structure a lot like the format of the show wasn't the same it would start off with barney uh not being a toy but he would just already be there in the park and that's something that i never really liked the episode just starts and barney's already in the park and i feel like that takes away from the idea of him being uh, a figment of the kid's imagination which is the foundation of the entire character I, I never really enjoyed that at all because it just it didn't feel like barney was created through imagination it just felt like he was just a, a dinosaur it was just a guy there in the park him being a dinosaur didn't even matter at that point he was just a dude in the park and it, i feel like that took away a lot of the the personality of what barney and friends was i also just don't like the the segments and the where they would break apart and 
and just actively talk to the, the kids in like this big white void and it was it was very strange um and i feel like it, it broke up the pacing a lot so if anything i feel like they should have gone back and just sort of refreshed it a, a little bit not like changing the entire format and structure but just again like refreshing and and, and building on what it already was uh but yeah much love jordan how many questions have i answered from jordan so far <laughs> Is this the third one? I don't know. Do you consider Barney's Night Before Christmas and Barney's Let's Play School as its own modern remix for of Waiting for Santa and Barney Goes to School? Uh, you can look at it like that. Um, I don't think... I mean, of course, I don't think that's what their intention was. But I I, I think you, you could look at it like that. All of those are bangers, honestly, to be honest. I love all of those so much. Um, so I, I definitely would say that they are like their own versions of like continuations of that because they are very similar and with a franchise that's lasted as long as barney had um you're, you're of course going to re really like repeat uh episodes and video titles and and themes and that kind of thing so um definitely i would i would say that they are like very faithful like continuations you know what i mean all right i'm going to end this video on this comment and we're going to go over the rest of the comments in the part two uh video but em uh Emilia, em, Emilia, em, em, Emily says, <laughs> who do you think were the best voice and body actors for Barney? I think they all did an amazing job. I think they all were absolutely amazing. Of course, I grew up with Bob West and David Joyner, so they are the ones that I recognize the most, and the ones that I uh, have seen the most. But uh, again, I, I feel like they all did an amazing, amazing job um, at portraying the character and keeping the character alive. So yeah all right that i'm gonna end the comments for that one and of course like i said we're gonna go over the rest of the comments in the part two uh to this video but thank you guys for watching this one and barney what are you still doing up here thank you guys for watching this one and i will see you guys and oh and thank you again for 1000 subscribers <laughs> we've got a lot more videos coming that i'm working on and scripting and drawing and doing all of those different things and i have a, a pretty big video coming uh, soon that I think is going to involve a certain movie and a certain little toy and I think that that would be uh, fun so uh, I again like I'll see you I th thank you what am I saying thank you guys for watching part one of the uh, 1000 subs Q&A and I will see you guys in part two see you